Greetings. What's cool? What's good? What's happening? Yeah, this is the second time I'm filming this because I actually forgot my intro. That's how long it's been since I've been on these YouTube streets. I've tried to come back to YouTube and I've tried to film this video so many times, but every single time something would come up. Every single time I'd be like, no, I have to do stuff. I do stuff around the house. I have to arrange stuff. I got, I got stuff to do. So I kept putting it off, but here I am now. And I'm not gonna put it off no longer. I'm gonna continue to talk to you guys, even if I'm doing stuff like removing this interesting mask and all. I will continue to talk to you guys because in times such as these, in times of crisis, it is actually even more important that we get certain things across, that we get a message across and that everybody who is an influencer, everybody that is on YouTube is able to speak their mind, is able to educate people, is able to let people know how they're doing, first of all, and share tips, share experiences and all that good stuff. So that is what I intend to do, what I'm doing my hair, what I'm cleaning the house, what I'm, I'm removing a face mask, because if I keep putting it off because I feel like I don't have any time, I'm never gonna come on these YouTube streets. So yeah. Anyway, I want to kind of use this time and use this video whilst I'm doing some self-love and self-care to really... Oh, yes, my hands are ashy. They're going to be ashy for a long time because man's washing hands constantly. So yeah, you know, hand cream is all sold out everywhere you go. There's obviously a pandemic going on. The virus that I guess shall not be named because all these YouTubers keep blurring out the name of this virus, but you know what I mean. They block it out because they censor out the name of the virus because they get demonetized. And since I ain't getting paid from none of this, I think I really care. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. So what I really wanted to talk about is our our duty as influencers. And yes, I'll say I'm an influencer. Anybody that posts anything online is an influencer even the whatsapp gangsters are influencers they may not know that they are but they are because by sending those videos false news or not you're influencing somebody's thinking you're influencing how people um, are going about certain things while influencers a crisis has come it is so vital it is so important that every single person that has a voice speaks out every single person that's able to reach other people even if it's three people even if it's two people on whatever platform needs to reach people and in this day and age of a pandemic we need to be able to spread positive good reliable we need to be able to talk about it okay i'm actually kind of worried and somewhat sick and tired of seeing influences up in these youtube streets and on instagram talking about look at my you know just doing things as if nothing has happened as if nothing has changed as if they are invincible as if this is not gonna touch them we've all seen that this is just now i saw on the news that i think three famous sports people from the football world have got this coronavirus like it's actually serious so it's actually really serious no no nobody seems to be exempt from this thing so to just see people go about their day and do whatever whatever and talk about a makeup haul and look at me apply this makeup and look at look at my collection of this and that and haul this haul that first of all shops will close right now even if you're doing a haul who is going to buy anything nobody okay but that's not even the thing and i'm not a jealous person so it's not about being jealous or whatever i love to watch these type of videos usually and even now i will watch them but there's one thing there's one thing that's niggling at me a little bit and that is that some of these influencers are just not talking about covid19 at all they're not talking about it at all as if it is not a thing as if this is not happening at all and that i have a problem with i feel like if you have a platform and you're able to speak about this thing speak about it speak about it you can still talk about other things you can still do your celebrity what 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 you can still do your recaps and your reviews and your hauls and whatnot because we still need to we still need to go on like in my last video i spoke about how nature and everything is on completely unchanged we're going through a season change it's spring now that's still happening you know other stuff is still happening things are still going on but at the same time <laughs> stuff is at a standstill but the thing is we need more influencers to influence to do to do good right now because there's a lot of young people that follow these people and see them as role models and will follow everything and anything that they say forget about the news forget about forget about the government they don't care about that 
Some of these youngsters need to hear that their favorite YouTuber or favorite Instagrammer said hashtag stay home. This is how to stay home. And their favorite cook YouTube videos are about what kind of foods to make in, in this situation, okay? In this kind of quarantine uh, world, you know? I'm giving you ideas. Let, let your social media content reflect what's probably actually going on in the world right now and in your mind. Like, just talk about it. Encourage people to stay away from others if they can, as much as possible don't make any unnecessary trips if you still have food in the home and other things in the home don't go out there looking for more stuff to stock up to stock up to stock up there will always be food it's not it's not like a war we're fighting a war it's an invisible war called a virus a deadly horrendous virus but let's not pretend like there's not there's I think that there's gonna be a flow of things there's gonna be a flow of things coming in there's gonna be food and all that is still gonna be supplied to the supermarkets. So right now, if everybody just buys what they need and then every now and again go to the shop, I suggest you go really early. I suppose I suggest you know exactly what you're going to get and get what is on that list. So yeah, just do that. Um, if you want to get the deals or whatever, because money is gonna be tight for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. Money is going to be really, really tight because of how the economy is worldwide. Now it's not a us and them kind of problem. Now it's an everybody problem. We're all in the same, you know, in the same boat. So it's hard for everybody. So if you need to get your deals, look online in the shops, write down which deals I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get a multi pack of that. Da, 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 da. Write it down on a piece of paper, like what people used to do. Take that piece of paper, go to the shop, and don't look at anything else. Get your stuff, boom, 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 bam, 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 and hit the road, Jack get the heck out of there and yeah do your social distancing six feet or one and a half meters apart this is this this one needs to happen and i will come on here and i'll continue to talk about this i don't have the best camera right now but you can see me and most importantly you can hear me i just don't want to be that kind of youtuber even though i had loads of other videos planned i just don't want to be that kind of youtuber that kind of person that is out here sharing jibber jabber nonsense or just not like like okay my first video that i wanted to make about this virus was like you know breaking it all down what is this virus what does it do da, da, da. that was weeks and weeks ago and i saw that so many people had amazing videos about that so i was like okay that's fine let them let them post about it i'm not gonna like add i'm not gonna add to what's already out there there's already great information out there so yeah watch those ones and yeah keep yourself informed do watch the news even though it's scary keep yourself informed and do what the government is saying keep your distances keep your distance from other people and just look at the who the cdc all these type of places for your information do not look for these whatsapp gangsters um videos and photos and if you do get them fact check them by going on google or whatever and see if what they're saying is true but like what i've seen now nine times out of ten is not true some stuff is supposed to be a joke some stuff is just supposed to go viral and that's why it's on there but it is not it is it is not it's fake news so be very careful with that but right now there's three things social distancing to help flatten the curve to help make sure that we don't go through a peak a really high peak too quickly that the healthcare uh, professionals cannot deal with the amount of people coming into the hospital. So flatten that curve and make sure that if it's going to spread, it spreads kind of like that. And um, so that's it, social distancing, hand washing, hand washing, hand washing, and keep your hands away from your face as much as you can. Basically like just, just try not to touch face. <sighs> These are the things, keep yourself sterile, keep things sterile around you clean regularly and yeah if you can't find hand sanitizer and all the rest of it use bleach make sure you don't ruin your clothes though but use bleach uh, on some kind of rag and have some rags maybe allocated to this bleach solution situation because bleach would it would just the bleach would just ruin whatever washcloths you have if you even still care about that kind of thing in this time of crisis but anyway i've rambled enough all i wanted to say is influencers do your part i'm speaking to all of you influencers do your part and influence the nation the world your fans your supporters your subscribers your followers whatever you want to call, call them but we can't really help this thing we can't really fight this thing what we can do is keep each other informed and make sure there's less nonsense out there and rather populate the our feeds 
you know, whether it's Facebook, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Instagram or whatever, with sensible measures that we can take right now, or just with sensible talk about this horrid um, crisis that we're all living through right now, instead of ignoring it so that a lot of people are ignoring it, especially young folk, and going on beaches and stuff for spring break because YOLO. This is the problem. That's why I'm saying the influencers need to do their part. Influencers do your part. We are all counting on each other to uplift each other and spread good, good information about this whole situation or even just thoughts and feelings so that we can just get each other through this horrible time. Whatever you do, make sure you pray, make sure you keep God front and center and just let that calm of the Lord just, just cover your whole entire existence. So yeah, that's my two cents. Remember to make time for glorious life. It's time to start. What? Leave me right and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye. Go wash your hands. Go wash your hands.